Welcome to the Motion Detection Lab. We're going to use the Internet of Things to set up our motion detection. And this is one of several uh, security steps you can take as according to the Network Plus syllabus. So we'll go to uh, End Devices and you can go, you can go down to um, uh, Home here. And you can see all the Internet of Things. We're going to drag up a motion sensor and also this is a webcam but it's also a um, you can use it as a security camera obviously for a device we'll use a switch so we can connect all these devices together and an end device we'll use our server these are to register our devices that we're going to manage and also to set behaviors we can uh, configure any uh, connect to any ports on the switch, we'll just use straight through cables. So all our ports are all connected. And uh, you might have done the Internet of Things lab earlier, so some of this will look familiar to you. Firstly, we need to add IP configurations to our devices. Make sure the IoT is turned on on the uh, server. So you go to services, IoT, on. Next thing we need to configure an account on the registration server. All we need to do on the server is open up a web interface. Here, the web browser. We'll put our own IP address in. This will load the IoT server, the GUI, and then we can register. Now we don't have an account. We just need to go to the bottom left here and create an account. I created one before, but it, it doesn't get stored. All right, so we've got no devices showing in our list, so we'll need to uh, register some devices. First thing I like to do is change the name of the devices to something that's going to be a bit easier for us to remember. So I'll go to um, this global settings and change it to motion. And the uh, webcam, you can change that. Webcam. Set the IP address of the motion sensor to uh, 192.168.1.2 and the webcam to dot three. Next thing we need to do is set the registration server IP address and add in the credentials that will authenticate our device, our devices onto the server. So it's going to be a remote server. 192.168.1.1 is the address. Username 101 labs. And passwords hello. And we'll click on connect. We'll check over on the server in a minute. Now we're over on our webcam. And it's all the same uh, steps. We go back to our server now, we can see two devices are registered. The webcam screen is blank at the moment, 
it's not recording anything as you can see on the server All right, so go to conditions now. We'll need to say what happens. If something happens, what's the action? So let's say uh, webcam on. What will trigger the webcam? We'll say motion. That's one of the devices. Motion on is true. Then what will happen? Webcam on true. So if the motion detector is activated, the webcam will be activated. The uh, other thing is um, if, the if the webcam, um, if the motion detection isn't active, like nothing, nothing's happening, then we need to disable the webcam. So webcam off is a new condition. If the motion on is set to false then set to webcam a bit confusing the webcam on status to false this and or logic can be a bit uh, difficult to understand all right now if you want to activate the webcam you need to obviously we can't walk in front of it because it's not really there so we just need to hold down the alt key and wave our mouse in front of it i'll just open up the webcam here and we need to resize our windows. Find packet tracer, and then um, we'll see if we can set the webcam off. So this would be as if somebody had triggered it at our house or office or wherever. All right, so I'll hold down the Alt key and I'll wave my pointer in front of it. And we should see the light go on and then the uh, picture shows as that some, some person has triggered it off. If it stops working, then the webcam turns off and then you can activate it again if you want. So that's proved off the lab. All right, so we're all done. Thanks for watching.